This is a demonstration of a landing gear malfunction. Extend the landing gear. Extinguish the master warning light. The left main gear did not extend and lock. On the landing gear panel, the unlocked indication is red. On the ECAM wheel page, the message landing gear control is displayed amber, indicating that the gear and landing gear lever positions disagree. The first step on ECAM is to recycle the landing gear. The crew recycles the gear. The landing gear is extended again and the failure remains. The next action requires a non-ECAM procedure described in the flight manual. Extend the gear by clicking on the gravity extension handle. The hand crank has been turned three times. The next step is to place the gear lever in the down position. Finally, check for gear down indications on the gear panel and on the ECAM wheel page. The gear is now down and locked. Note that the gear doors remain open. This is shown on the wheels page. The door indicators are open and amber. The next step is to clear ECAM. Clear ECAM. The status page is now displayed. Approach CAT3 single only is listed in the left column, indicating a downgrade in approach capability. CAT3 dual and nose wheel steering are listed under NOP systems. Any time a landing is made with the gear doors open, nose wheel steering is lost. The final step is to finish the ECAM procedure by clearing the status page. Clear ECAM. ECAM complete. Screens normal. Notice that the status reminder is displayed on the engine warning display. Other ECAM faults will be displayed in the same manner. In this example, one LGCIU detects the nose landing gear in transit and displays the triangle in red. The other LG CIU detects the nose gear down and locked and shows a green triangle. In this example, one triangle is missing, meaning that the gear is detected up and locked by one LG CIU. The remaining triangle is red because the other LG CIU detects the gear in transit. The steering message appears in case of nose wheel steering failure, a green hydraulic system failure, or if the anti-skid nose wheel steering switch has been turned off. It is also associated with an ECAM caution. This is an ECAM presentation of hot brakes. During the landing rollout, when brakes are applied, the temperatures begin to rise. Above 100 degrees Celsius, a green arc appears on the hottest wheel. Brake temperature continues to increase. You hear the chime and see the master caution. Extinguish the master caution. On the ECAM wheel page, the brake temperatures are displayed in amber above 300 degrees Celsius. An amber arc is displayed above the hottest wheel. As long as the brake temperature is too hot, the takeoff must be delayed. The next failure will show automatic reversion to the alternate brakes. 
This failure can be caused by a green system hydraulic failure or by a dual BSCU failure. The caution and associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. The green auto brake medium messages disappear from the engine warning display and from the wheel page. Auto braking is now lost. On the ECAM wheel page, the message anti-skid appears in amber, indicating an anti-skid failure. Also, the message alternate brake appears in green, indicating the loss of normal braking. When using brakes without anti-skid, care must be taken not to exceed 1,000 psi on the yellow brake pressure gauge.